What's up, girl gang? You are watching the Gregorio Girls Makeup Channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin, and I run this beauty channel with my sister, Shauna. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. We love you. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a dupes video, and we are going to be comparing two palettes together today. So we are going to be comparing the Anastasia Sultry Palette, which is one of my absolute favorite palettes, with this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Palette. And this is the hypnotic reloaded palette and as you can see it's pretty much at least in terms of colors a direct dupe for the color scheme that we see here in this palette let me just give you a little side by side so lots of lots of similar colors here lots of the exact same colors in here honestly so since there is just such a big difference in price between these two palettes this one i picked up for seven dollars and this one retails for Oh gosh, between 40 and 45. But with those two prices being considered, I wanted to sit down and compare the two on camera with you guys today and see if by the end we think that this really is a dupe or if it's just worth it to spend your money on this palette. So quick disclaimer, this is not a first impressions of this palette. I have swatched this and I have gone in and played around with this and created a look or two with this palette just to see. And the reason that I did that was because honestly, I feel like first impressions and then like your final thoughts after using the palette a couple times or using any product a couple times for that matter, they, they can really be different. And so I think I would rather start giving you guys a little bit more, like a little bit less of my first impressions and a little bit more of, I've used this a few times and this is what I actually think of the product. All right, so please excuse my eyebrows today. I filled them in very, very quickly. I did not do a neat job and up close they look kind of ratchet so just excuse that and we are just going to get right into it so I already primed my eyelids and I just want to let you guys know as I'm flipping back and forth between the two palettes I'm going to do one eye with the sultry palette and then one eye with the makeup revolution palette I'm going to try to use different brushes as much as I can but if I like have to use the same brush to get the same effect I'm just going to like swirl the extra product off on a paper towel and keep moving along full disclaimer there. So I am going to do this eye here with the sultry palette. First, I'm going to take this color right here, which is called fresh, and I'm going to use that to set my uh, primer. And on the other eye, I'm going to take this color right here. Okay, so like honestly right away, I think it's very subtle, but I think that I'm looking in the monitor and the camera might actually be picking this up as well, but in person you can definitely tell like the the color from the Sultry palette, that color is much more opaque. You can see it on my eyelids a little bit. This one definitely mattified my primer, but it's not really, it doesn't look pigmented. But that being said, it's a really light color, so... Okay, next I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Birch, and we're gonna start building that up in the crease. I'm taking that on my Morphe M441, and I'm feeling a nice, smoky, sultry, smoky eye as usual, which is why I freaking love this palette so much, because as you guys have probably noticed, I'm not really one for like cut creases, halo eyes, like all that stuff, because I'm kind of lazy. So smoky eyes, I feel like, are such an easy way to just like, look super glam and like super sultry without like a ridiculous amount of effort because they don't have to be super neat you can just smoke them out and go i love that lip color why don't you come over here and show the people that pretty lip color look at that beautiful lip color she's got on there oh uh -huh, girl it's, um i think it's goldie color pop lippy stick oh nice i love i love yeah. Okay, I don't know why I literally always forget to powder my under eyes before I start doing my makeup, so I just did that off camera really quick because it really is a lifesaver when, I almost said lightsaber. <laughs> it really is a lifesaver <laughs> when it comes to a fallout. So on the other eye, I'm gonna take this color right here, which, so I am using the same brush. I did wipe off the product from the Sultry palette before I picked up the product on this. So we're just gonna pick up some of that Revolution product and see how it goes. yeah okay so i'm sure you guys can see it's not terrible it's definitely not as pigmented and you can see how like the color is kind of hanging out right in here i'm having a hard time blending it like to the corners 
on this eye this was pretty much only two dips like one dip blend another dip blend and then i was good i am dipping and dipping and dipping this brush into the revolution palette i think the colors match i definitely don't think the pigmentation matches and i will say like right off the bat because like i said i have tried this palette before did okay. you just try it i tried to make it quiet <laughs> Shauna just came by this way right in front of me and like tripped over the couch. And there is not enough, like there's not a lot of room. No, I there's not. I could have taken out all the soft boxes. Yeah, you like, could. You could have knocked the lights right in my <laughs> face. So yeah, after testing this palette a couple times off camera, I do kind of feel like these palettes, like you don't buy them for the mattes, but I think maybe you would buy them for the shimmers. But we're going to keep going and see if we agree with that statement by the end. So here we are so far, Anastasia, Makeup Revolution. Next, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics number nine brush from the Marbled set, and I am going to dip into this color right here from the Anastasia palette. It's called Dystopian, and it's just a beautiful dark chocolate matte brown. And I'm just gonna blend that right underneath that first color here. And I like this brush for keeping it tight in the crease and not blending up too far. Okay, so that is literally just one dip of the Anastasia color. I did not have to double dip that. All right, and then switching to the other palette here, we're gonna take this color and I did just wipe off that same brush and I'm gonna use it again. I just feel like that is gonna be the best thing for this video just to keep it consistent because then I can't be like, oh, well, Maybe like it was the brush that didn't blend it out as well. You know what I mean? If I was using two different brushes on, on my two eyes. So just bear with me here, peeps. So right away, I mean, you can definitely see like nowhere near as pigmented as this side. And going in for a third dip now. So I feel like they build, they definitely build. So if you're somebody that doesn't mind working for it a little bit more, my... Presumption here is that you will be able to get a very similar look But the other thing that I will say is like I'm not getting as much separation Like here you can see like dark and then you can still see that light color the colors are separated here I definitely feel like there's not as much of a contrast like the colors are definitely blending together a little bit more Anastasia and Makeup Revolution. All right next I'm taking a little bit of my Too Faced glitter glue because we're gonna go in with a shimmer and then while that is still tacky, I'm gonna take a flat packer brush. This is the number 10 brush from the BH Cosmetics Marbled Set, and I am going to jump into this color right here called Ember from the Anastasia palette. I especially love the shimmers in this palette. Oh, yes, I love that. Um, okay, and then same thing on the other eye, so go ahead and apply your glitter glue again. And I like to use a decent amount of this stuff just to give the shadows a fair shot to grab onto the eyelid. And then same thing on the other eye, I'm gonna take this color right here. And I did wipe the product off this brush, but I'm actually just gonna flip it over and use the other side that I didn't use yet. And we're just gonna pack that all over the lid. This one definitely is giving me a little bit more fallout. I didn't really get any fallout from the Anastasia one. And again, right away, I'm kind of having to like dip back in and build it back up. All right, and then next, I'm gonna take this color right here, appropriately named Noir, which is the French word for black. <laughs> it's just a deep matte black. And I'm taking that on my Morphe M432 and I'm just gonna use this to line the upper lash line. Just add a little bit of extra definition. Can you guys see the difference that that little trick makes like between this eye and this eye? This eye just like pops that much more, I love it. And this is a double coat of the Anastasia shadows. All right, and then same thing on the other eye and I'm just dipping into this black shade right here. Okay, so this is like not bad, honestly. So I'm definitely having to dip more often, right? Like going back and forth and kind of working with it, but I don't know, I feel like this is a pretty good black. Okay, so guys, not bad. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised by that black. Um, again, I went and did two coats of that black as well, just so we could like compare, compare them evenly. Um, and I do think that you have to work with it a little bit more, but 
not bad. The All right, so let's go ahead and dust off our under eyes, which are probably so freaking dry from that powder at this point. And guys, I have to say, I got a little bit more fallout from the Makeup Revolution palette, but not a ton to where I was like, oh my God, I can't deal with this. You know what I mean? But not mad. I'm really not mad right now, you guys. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so now I'm pretty much just gonna follow the same steps that we did on the top lid, now on the lower lash line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my Morphe M506, and I'm gonna go back into Birch right here. And then same thing with the Revolution palette on the other eye. And then next I'm going to take a smudger brush and I'm going to dip back into Dystopian and we're going to smudge that along the lower lash line. And same thing with the Revolution palette. And I am still wiping these brushes off in between each use, just so you guys know. I'm not like saying it every time. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this definitely doesn't look as dark when I'm smudging it. So I, re you do have to, mm, and I'm getting a little bit of fallout. You really do have to work with this Makeup Revolution palette, guys. The color payoff isn't as immediate as the Anastasia sh shadows, but like I'm building it and I'm getting a very similar effect. I won't say that they're the same. They're not the same. They're definitely not the same, but I mean, I'm getting a very similar look. Okay, and I actually didn't bring down a black eyeliner for the waterline, and I thought I did, so I am gonna take a little bit of this black on each eye, like from each palette, and just try to smudge it as close to the lash line as possible. I don't feel like this eye really needs to be deepened up, but I feel like this eye does. Okay, and then same thing on the other eye. Okay, last step to finish off this eyeshadow look, I wanna just put a little bit of highlight in the inner corner. So I'm taking a little bit of glitter glue again. I'm gonna take a tiny little brush so I can get into my inner corner. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called Pearl. I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner with that. Wow, yes, I love that color. Freaking love that color. And then same thing on the other eye, so glitter glue right there. All right, and then taking this color from the Revolution palette. Okay, so without the glitter glue, this one definitely doesn't perform as well, just like dry on the uh, brow bone. It's a little bit chunkier. I mean, it still works. It definitely still works, but it again, it just takes a little bit more effort. You just have to work with it a little bit more. All right guys, so I am quickly going to finish up all the rest of my makeup, pop some lashes on, pop some lipstick on, all that stuff off of camera, and then I will come back with my final thoughts. All right you guys, so here we are with the final look. Here is what I think. I think that my two eyes look pretty dang similar to each other. So I am not gonna say that they're the same. I, I don't think that they are the same. I don't think that you get the same quality from the Makeup Revolution palette as you do with the Anastasia palette. I feel like we can kind of expect that, right? That's kind of a given, just given the difference in prices and the difference in just the two brands in general. But what I will say, like unless you are this close to my face, you really cannot see a difference. Like I would be confident to go out in this look right now and not worry about people thinking that my eyes look uneven or what. So again, do I think that these two palettes are exactly the same? No, I don't. They are not exact dupes. They are not exactly the same. I would say that the Anastasia Sultry palette is a hundred percent worth the money if you're somebody that really wants that good quality that like pigment that packs a punch so this is a hundred percent worth the money and I do think that this is better quality however you can get pretty damn close to the Anastasia palette with this palette I do stand by my earlier statements that you do have to work with this like you have to be willing to work with this for me the biggest difference with this palette is the mattes the mattes are definitely not as good but I do think that the shimmers again not quite as good but they get closer to the Anastasia palette like they're a little bit closer in quality to the shimmers in the sultry palette than the mattes are 
if that makes sense. I hope it does. So I definitely want to know your thoughts down below if you made it this far with me in the video. Do you think these palettes are dupes? Do you think they're worth the money? Have you tried them? What are your thoughts? Let me know everything down below. Before you leave, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so so you don't miss any videos from Shauna and I. We would love to have you join the Gregorio Girl Gang. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Love you. Mwah.